everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am, you guessed it, painting on shoes. This is something that I've actually been wanting to do for quite a while now and I never really got around to doing it uh, for some reasons that I'll speak about later. But yeah, let's dive into it. So today I'm using these Montmartre fabric paints given to me by the lovely Art Shed Online. I unboxed these recently in a video, but I didn't actually get around to using them because I was doing a Copic or marker artwork. But today we're diving in and we're using them. And these are the shoes that I'm going to be using today. But first, before we do that, we need to remove all of the laces so that I can paint underneath and not get the laces dirty. These shoes aren't really anything special, I just got them from Kmart, they were quite cheap and they're basically like your normal sort of converse knockoff type of shoes. So for the style of these, I wanted to go with something really colourful. Usually with shoes you'll have like a few colours, but I wanted to try and see how many colours I could add into these shoes without making them look too crazy. I really like to add a lot of colour in my art and painting on shoes is no exception. So the basic idea behind these was I wanted to do a sort of purple background with maybe some rainbows or some clouds or some stars or something over the top and then I'd have like some really interesting colors on the tongue of the shoe as well. And I started off with that purple background because I felt like that would be easier to do if I didn't do all of the details. I wouldn't have to paint around them. I'd sort of just paint the details over the top of the background. Now I didn't want just a blank purple background. So what I did was I started off with a sort of unmixed uh, layer of purple. And then after this, I would add a little bit of white to that purple and then add some in different sections so that it would blend and turn into a gradient. Now I love gradients, I love adding gradients to my art and uh, yeah this actually turned out really nicely. I just tried to make sure that each, each section of each colour was still wet while I was blending so that it would blend nicely and look like a gradient obviously. I had three sort of sections of the colors on this shoe for the background. I had an unmixed light purple color and then I mixed a little bit of white and obviously blended that out. And then towards the back of the shoe, I mixed even more white and then I obviously blended that through so it was a nice gradient. Now I actually want to talk about why I was inspired to do shoes in the first place and this is because of uh, specifically someone named Mira Byler. Now she has done quite a few of these on her channel and I really like the way she paints them and everything but one of the reasons why I really uh, sort of kicked myself in the butt and said Sarah you have to paint shoes is because... A lot of people who do this sort of custom painting shoes type thing will sort of go in the direction of surprising people in that they're painting really expensive shoes, usually like something like Gucci or just even Nikes or like really expensive Converse shoes. And to be completely honest, I don't have the money to just throw away a pair of shoes and risk ruining them when... Um, the shoes that I wear myself aren't all that expensive and I can't really justify buying a super expensive pair of shoes to paint for a video when my channel doesn't really make all that money uh, to begin with. But Mira Baila is amazing in the fact that she doesn't even care about painting super expensive fancy shoes. She literally has bought dollar store shoes and Target shoes and painted them. And she sort of, I don't know, for some reason it didn't really cross my mind that I could just get, you know, inexpensive shoes to paint. It kind of sounds silly to me now that I didn't really think about that and I didn't really think that was an option because of course you can paint any shoes. And of course, Mira doing that herself, she inspired me to do it and to actually push myself to paint a pair of shoes because painting shoes is a lot of fun. 
So yeah, definitely go check out Mira's videos as well. I'll leave a link into the description of the shoes that she's painted. She's kind of the inspiration behind why I painted these shoes. So of course I'm going to link her channel and those videos in the description. She's also just a super nice person and I thought I would send you guys her way. If you don't know her or, her or you know, have seen her channel, what are you doing? So anyways, back to these shoes. As you can see, I am painting some details over that purple background. Now I had to wait for that to dry and I did a few layers of that. So it took quite a bit for the purple to dry, but it's really important to leave that to dry so that it doesn't mix with any of the colors that you're going to be putting over the top. Now to add colors over the top, I really wanted them to pop out and stand out and be really nice and bright. And some of these colors are a little bit more transparent than you would think. So to fix that, I I added a nice layer of white onto the background first where I'm going to paint these details. I did some rough rainbow shapes with some clouds as you can see and I tried to keep them sort of fluid and random and uh, not all of them are the same sort of size or shape. I wanted to keep it you know just a little bit interesting. And I did a few layers of that white just to make it nice and bright so that the colors over the top would look really nice and colorful. Now the colors I'm actually using for these rainbows is a little bit simplified compared to your usual rainbow. I only picked four colors because I wanted it to be not overly rainbow. I didn't want to, I didn't want to make the color palette too crazy and make it look like I'm wearing clown shoes or anything like that. And uh, yeah, so, so I sort of simplified it and kept to sort of slightly pastel colors. As you can see, I have used pink and then I also used yellow, green and blue. That is quite simplified compared to your usual rainbow that would have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet colors. But I like it and I think it looks pretty cute and definitely shows the colorfulness of these rainbows. Afterwards, as you can see, I added a few dots and at first I was going to keep them as dots, but then later I realized eh, you can't really tell what they're supposed to be and they're sort of supposed to be stars. So I ended up going back into those and turning them into a so you sort of typical cartoon star shape. And I actually really like that because it adds a nice level of detail and definitely looks a bit more refined than the random dots. The stars on these shoes also remind me of the Converse Chuck Taylor all-star shoes and I love those kinds of shoes so yeah that definitely made me like the details even more. For the details on the stars and on the rainbows I had to use a really really tiny angled paintbrush and I'm actually really glad that I still had that paintbrush because it became so useful to me with those tiny little details. They don't look tiny but these are on shoes and uh, yeah they're quite small. So here's the final results of these shoes and I absolutely love them. I think they're super cute, the colours are nice and bright and still kind of soft and I really like the colour palette that I chose too because it is rainbow but it's not too full on. And of course it has my favourite colour for the main colour of this shoe and that is purple. I love purple so much, it is my favourite colour in the whole world. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash like and subscribe to get your scribble fix in the future. And leave me a comment down below what you think of these shoes. And uh, yeah. Also, let me know down below what is your favorite kind of shoe. And if you don't like shoes, what is your favorite uh, fashion accessory? I really like asking you guys random questions. I have a lot of fun thinking about random questions and I have a lot of fun hearing everything that you guys have to say. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Please stay safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.